everyone, Josh Faulkner here. I'm a small group leader here at Ignite Church, and the question we're talking about right now is, what happens when you're leading a group and someone inevitably asks the question that you don't know the answer to? First off, I wanna say that this happens to all of us, no matter how long you've been leading a group, whether you just started or you've been leading for years, there's gonna be questions that you don't know the answer to. Uh, I do wanna give you a few points, and that is, uh, number one, if you don't know an answer to a question, don't try to answer it uh, and, and make up an answer. It's really important not to try to make something up that could be more harmful than good because we want to be able to give someone the correct answer, but you need to realize that it's okay not to know yourself. One of the worst things that we can do is try to answer a question that we don't know. It's okay not to know, but it's not okay to try to make something up. The second point, don't be scared, but use it as a way to challenge the people in your group. In other words, you can say, you know, uh, that's a great question. I appreciate your question. I don't really know the answer now, but I promise you that I'll research it. I'll figure it out, and we'll talk about it next week. And if you even want to go as farther as to challenge them, you can say, you know, well, how about you do the research on this? I'll do my own research, and then next week we can come back and compare. And that leads directly into my next point, which is, you can ask our community pastor, Stephen Dupree. You can ask someone else, uh, any of the leadership here, and you can bounce that question off them. And then hopefully you can come back with an answer that's going to represent, you know, you know, what we believe here at Ignite and, and what the Bible says, and, and you'll feel more confident. Depending on the question they ask, it may be something that is, has to do with what you're talking about in the group, and maybe you have time, depending on, you know, the length of your study or the the time you may think that question is going to take, you could look it up right then and use it as a way to, you know, kind of complement the study. There's benefit in being able to say, you know, I don't know, but here's how you would look this up. In fact, it can even be an opportunity to teach people on how you would deal with things with a tough question or how you would use the Bible to answer a tough question. So it also can be an opportunity during the study to use that question uh, to challenge them. So the most important thing to remember is that it's okay to not to be able to answer a question, and it's gonna happen. It's part of being a group leader. It doesn't mean that you lack any skills. It happens to me, it happens to Jason. We ask him questions. No matter where you're at in your walk, you're gonna have questions that you can't answer. Just remember to uh, you know not make up an answer and to do your research and be able to come back and answer it, but just remember that it's just all part of being a small group leader, and it's okay.